Hello everyone, welcome back to the garage. It's It's been a minute. I know that, um, sorry about that, but um, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, <clears throat> so that con that I was preparing the cold gun for, uh, that happened in uh, about mid-February. It's uh, almost May now as I record this. I guess I should start off by saying that I don't have a finished gun to show you today. Um, there are a couple reasons for that, uh, mostly because uh, when I went to that con, the first day I was there, uh, walking through traffic, uh, I had to uh, book it across a crosswalk. Uh, the uh, cold gun was in my thigh holster, uh, and the thigh holster failed, and the uh, gun fell onto the asphalt, uh, scratching it uh, just a bit, uh, tampering some of the, uh, the paintwork on it. Uh, and it uh, knocked some, something loose inside the gun. I would not find out what until a few days later after the con. The, the gun hit the asphalt and uh, the thing came loose and all of a sudden the lights in my gun didn't work. Uh, it kind of disillusioned me to the point where uh, I just didn't want to work on the gun at all uh, after I came home from the con that day. Also, I was kind of exhausted uh, because I was in the rest of the Captain Cold outfit and it was very warm. Uh, even in February, because it's Florida here, and uh, that's just terrible, in general. Uh, but even in February, Florida is, is bad. Um, so, so take that for what you will. Uh, anyway, I don't, I don't have that gun for you, uh, but I can tell you what happened to it uh, after I came back uh, and, and looked at it eventually. Uh, besides the, uh, the paint scuffing, uh, something had fallen uh, apart inside the gun. Uh, one of the magnet clasps uh, on the top of the, uh, the back that was holding the thing uh, closed uh, came loose. Uh, the hot glue finally failed. Uh, it, took, uh, it took a uh, jarring hit to the asphalt to, uh, to make the hot glue fail, but it did. Um, <clears throat> and I ended up looking around inside the gun and eventually what I figured out was uh, I had just lost a battery out of the battery holder. Uh, it was kind of rattling around in the front of the gun when it should be back in the back. Um, and so that's why my lights weren't working. It was just a battery issue. Which honestly kind of made me feel a lot more confident because that means that my soldering ability and my wiring, that all held together. Uh, even though I was just holding together the joints with, uh, with electrical tape and not uh, like heat shrink, which is what a lot of people will uh, Will recommend that you do when you uh, do wiring work like that. Uh, even though I just held stuff together with electrical tape, even though it was my first time soldering wires, everything that uh, that way held. Uh, the circuit still held and uh, all the lights that were supposed to be on were still on. So that was cool and I was uh, I was excited by that. It meant I had done something really right uh, even if the, uh, the rest of the gun didn't quite hold up. But uh, I come back to you today because not only did I feel like you deserved some kind of explanation for why you won't see that gun finished, uh, I do have a couple of pictures of it that I took uh, just before I was done with it, uh, and I didn't do much else to it after this. Uh, it was basically me just adding uh, some kind of uh, frost effect on the end of the gun uh, with just some white spray paint as I sprayed at it from uh, a ways away, um, which yeah, I mean, it, it worked out pretty okay, actually. Um, like I said, this is Florida, so the rest of the costume was kind of awful uh, in uh, direct sunlight. <laughs> I won't be doing that again. But I do like the Captain Cold character, uh, and I want to uh, cosplay as him again, probably, uh, if I can. Um, <clears throat> now, here's the thing about that. Uh, the gun I did get rid of. <laughs> I, uh, I tossed it because, well, I was done with it and I felt like it was like the, the end of a chapter of a book or something. I felt like uh, I needed, to, I needed to, to just get rid of it so that I would feel like everything had been completed. But, <clears throat> considering I do want to cosplay as the character again, he does kind of need the cold gun, doesn't he? So I went out and I got a new toy. This is the... Uh, <clears throat> This is the Nerf Mega Cyclone Shock. It's kind of amazing. It's kind of perfect. I kind of love it, honestly. I'm not a uh, Nerf connoisseur by any means, but uh, this thing, uh, this thing fires pretty fast and pretty far. Plus, 
plus the uh, the contours here, the uh, the form factor is very much like the cold gun on the show, uh, much closer than the uh, the gun that I modded previously. Uh, we have this handle right here, almost identical to the cold gun. Uh, we have this; it's a little more bulbous, and that's cool. Um, I am going to need to do a little bit of work uh, in putting this together. Uh, I am going to take out the, uh, the the shooting mechanism, I'm going to take out the darts and all that. Uh, I'll probably be uh, putting some kind of uh, facade on the front of this to uh, make it look more like the gun on the show. Because now I think I want to go for something a little more screen accurate. Uh, considering I have something that started uh, so close to the original. Um, it's mostly going to be on the front end because the front end of the cold gun on the show is very uh, sort of bulbous and, uh, and bulky. Uh, and this is not so much. It's got kind of that uh, uh, revolving mechanism here, like a like a classic revolver or like a Nerf uh, Maverick. I think they are. They're called. Uh, people mod those a lot. Um, so it's got kind of that six shooter thing going on there in the front. Uh, I'll need to uh, to mod around that obviously, and there's a lot going on in the front end that I'll need to fix. But this is really cool. Uh, I kind of love it, and I kind of wish I had a second one that I didn't gut. Uh, because, like I said, again, I'm not one much for Nerf stuff, but this one's really cool. <laughs>